After nine months of damning evidence into misconduct that swindled thousands of Australians, the Banking Royal Commission has drawn to a close. On the final day, Commissioner Kenneth Hayne thanked witnesses for their cooperation, but bank bosses are now nervously awaiting the final report. There have been tears and frustration, anger and accusations. Everything that was done in there, you've done worse to me. And more revelations than anyone expected. In just 68 days of hearings, the Banking Royal Commission has shown Australians have been ripped off and taken advantage of to the tune of billions of dollars. For them to do that to their customers is absolutely and utterly disgusting and I hope no one ever has to go through it again. It very nearly didn't get off the ground. We have made it very clear that we are not going to establish a Royal Commission. And the reason that was that two days before the Royal backflip. Now there's no turning back. The witness box was a parade of figures from the top end of town and soon heads began rolling as a number of executives and board members quit. It was revealed customers were charged billions of dollars for service they didn't get. The repair bill for AMP alone will top $1 billion. Even financial regulators were targeted, with ASIC being called the antithesis of tough. Today, the head of APRA said the organisation planned to ratchet up its role, but couldn't do it alone. The regulators can't find all this stuff. Uh, we can't be the first line of defence. <laughs> In summing up, Commissioner Hayne thanked the banks for their honesty. I recognise that, much more often than not, those acting for the entities and agencies concerned have sought to cooperate with the Commission. In the past year, multiple criminal breaches have been exposed, so it will be a nervous summer for bank bosses. Commissioner Haynes' report is due in February, and it could recommend expensive changes to the way that banks do business, as well as potentially making it more difficult for Australians trying to get a loan. Plus, the possibility that some executives could face jail time. Daniel Ziffer, ABC News, Melbourne.